This house, eight cast members, and a show called Jersey Shore put Seaside Heights in South New Jersey on the map. It definitely has created a buzz. I think the whole boardwalk this summer is going to be packed. The reality show featured young adults living it up and at times being obnoxious in Seaside Heights. And while many say the MTV show painted Italian Americans and local residents in a bad light, Bill White, owner of the White Pearl, a hotel in Seaside Heights, says you can't buy publicity like the tourist town received from the show. The show actually stimulated our business dramatically at the Jersey Shore. This year, we're up probably 30, 40 percent, and I attribute that to the Jersey Shore show putting us on the map. One of the main attractions to Seaside Heights is the boardwalk and a variety of activities from family fun to nightlife. Locals from Seaside Heights have mixed reactions to the show and its effect. I think that the show is stupid and I think that no, it doesn't have a positive impact on the area. And I think the kids could be easily influenced by the stupidity that they put on TV every week. I think it just brought more interest and more publicity to a great place. They acted really obnoxious on the show and they just really ruined this area. Get out of my town, you don't belong here. Goodbye. One guy who is pro Jersey Shore all the way is Michael Carbone. He owns the Beachcomber Bar, a family business and popular seaside hotspot. It's now a must stop for tourists thanks to Snooki, one of the characters from the show. She was punched out during an episode shot here. Carbone, a lifelong resident, says more people means more drinks, which equals more money. Seaside Heights is more about the people who come to Seaside Heights to vacation. It's not about us people who live here or make our living here. It's about the people we make our living from. For good or bad, there's no doubting people come from all over the world to see for themselves what all the fuss is about. In Seaside Heights, Michael Artsis, NYPost.com.